This is Twit. The Tips app used to be this thing that I avoided because I thought, oh, this is for the people who uh, have no idea how to use their phones and there's not go going to be anything that's of importance in there. No. That is not the case, people. The Tips app is a very powerful app that has lots of information in it. And over time, Apple has actually added a special system to iOS, a framework, uh, that involves sort of a, a tips system. I Really, that's the best word for it, where apps can display uh, helpful information in the way that the Tips app works. And what's great about this app is that it helps you get your phone, your uh, iPad, whatever it happens to be set up in the first place, and then you can go from there. And so that's actually one of what I want to talk about first is the Get Started section of this app. So in the Get Started section of the Tips app, I've launched the Tips app, you can access it by swiping down on your phone and starting to type in the word tips or going into your app uh, catalog, or if you don't have the app, going to the App Store and re-enabling it from there, which is the same as downloading, but it's an Apple app. And so under Get Started, you'll notice the first thing here is a setup checklist, which for me has a checkbox next to it. But let's tap, tap into that and see. So if during the setup of your phone, you skip any of the steps that are involved in your setup checklist. You may see a notification in the operating system and in the settings app, but if you don't, this is a great place to go to make sure you have everything set up. It talks about Face ID. It talks about your Apple account. So signing into your Apple account, that used to be called Apple ID. Whether or not you have iCloud backup turned on. Find my iPhone. A recovery contact so that if you uh, lose access to your device, having a friend, family member, someone you trust available to help you recover your account, your medical ID, which is part of the health app, which gives you the ability, if you're ever in an emergency, to have information about you displayed like medical medicine allergies and other medical conditions, and then your legacy contact in the event that you pass, that you die, um, someone available to gain access to your accounts, to your photos, that kind of thing. Uh, so you're passing on that information to a person from there. That's just the first thing, the setup checklist. What's great about this app is that it always displays new content when it comes around or new features when they come around, like you'll see the big old Apple intelligence uh, banner at the top of the page. But I'm not going to talk about that just yet because I wanna show you the other two that are in the Get Started section. And these are helpful for someone who is just getting started with iOS. Navigate your iPhone gives you a bunch of information about how to move around your iPhone. So for example, how you go to the home screen. So swiping up from the bottom edge to go to the home screen. Um, when apps are active in the dynamic island, when you are trying to switch between apps by swiping up a little bit, not all the way up to access uh, different apps, but then also just grabbing that little swipey bar at the bottom and moving it to the left or the right, how you open control center, how you uh, access other controls in control center and see more controls within them. This is essentially taking the many, 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 many back episodes of iOS today and sort of grouping it together in a really easy to understand format. So you can see these beautiful illustrations. And what's great about this is at any time in the top right corner, I can bookmark a specific tip and I can also share tips. So if you have a friend or family member who's going, how do I do this? Sending them this specific page that says, here is how you can silence calls and notifications on your device. And having actual animations that appear there is really handy. The other thing that I'll talk about is the practicing key gestures feature in that get started. And so here it talks about what you can do to zoom. So pinch to zoom, place two fingers on the screen, pinch open to zoom in or pinch close to zoom out. And it even has a demo you can use to try it out and make sure. And look, it even gives me a little great job. I feel so good. I got my little cookies. Um, and it also has a little haptic feedback that plays while I'm doing that as well. Uh, selecting and editing text by tapping, 
to select a portion of it and dragging the blue pointers. This is a quick little boot camp, if you will, for the key gestures that you use in iOS. Uh, tap, of course, and then being able to touch and hold to reveal more actions, which used to be force press, um, are also available as well. And I think that those are great ways to give a person who is switching to iOS for the first time or who is switching to a smartphone for the first time the ability to know what's going on. Hey, if you liked that clip, well, there's so much more to get by joining Club Twit. You can watch all of iOS Today, where we cover all things iOS, tvOS, HomePod OS, watchOS, and so much more. It's all the apps, all the tips and tricks, and everything with Rosemary Orchard and me, Micah Sargent. Join Club Twit at twit.tv slash club to it to see all of iOS today.